I'm Callum Wilson. I've been managing the direction of Gypsum Tools for the last few years, and it's our mission to help you get to serious advantage over your competitors and allowing you to impress your employers or customers alike. In video one, I shared with you how using the right tools allowed our resident expert, Mick Allen, to save over 55% of the time it took to complete a taping job when using taping tools over doing it manually. More importantly, if you don't have the ability to compete at this level, you could be damaging your earning potential as taping continues to grow in popularity across most parts of the UK. In today's video, you're going to learn. Firstly, what's in a taping kit? How everything fits together? And how can you get started today? Secondly, as I promised at the end of the last video, our resident expert Mick Allen will be sharing three advanced professional secrets to help even the most advanced users save that all important time and money. Before we get started, it's important that you turn off any distractions and listen carefully to what we're sharing with you today, because this way you'll get more out of this series. It's time to introduce once again our legendary taping expert, Mick Allen. Mick has been using taping tools for over 35 years, and if Mick doesn't know it, it's not worth knowing. After 35 years experience, I can throw it about and use it without even thinking about what I'm doing. But thinking back 35 years when I first picked them up, they do feel a little bit cumbersome and a, and a little bit unwieldy. But with a little bit of perseverance over a couple of days, it gets easier and easier until in the end you just don't even think about what you're doing. You just let the, the tools do the job. I'm here in our trade counter in Leicester where we offer sound advice with a smile. It's the taping tools that always capture people's attention. And if you've never seen an automatic taper or taping tool before, then here's Mick to explain what they are and what they do. Let's get started by talking through each component of this kit. This is an auto taper for use in applying paper tape to wall and ceiling joints and also for applying paper tapes to internal corners around a room. This is a corner roller for use in pressing the tapes into the internal corners around a room. This is a corner finisher for use in flattening the cement that comes out around the internal corners. This is a corner applicator for use in the second stage in applying joint cement to the internal corner tapes. This is a 7 inch box which is used for putting the first coat of joint cement over the walls and sealing flat joints and it's filled up through this opening here with joint cement. This is a 10 inch box which is a second application that you would use on flat joints on walls and ceilings. And this is a 12 inch box which is used in exactly the same way as the previous two for applying the third and final coat in the process of making a smooth flat wall or flat ceiling. This is a flat box handle which is used with the 7, 10 and 12 inch for applying joint cement to flat joints on walls and ceilings. This is a boxing pump for filling the 7, 10 and 12 inch through this nozzle here but you can also use a gooseneck which is used for filling the auto taper. Great work. Is it two sugars, Mick? Now we get to the interesting part. It's time for Mick to get those brand spanking new tracky bottoms dirty as he mixes up the compound and talks us through some of the best ways to get started. Get your kit out, Mick. Fixing the corner roller to the corner roller handle just simply screws on like so. Fixing the corner finisher to the corner finisher handle, simply press in there, and when you release, it's solid. Fixing the corner applicator to the corner applicator handle, simply slots in and tighten the wing nut. 
fits in the flat box nozzle, simply slot it on and tighten the two nuts. And to change to the gooseneck, we just slacken off the nuts again. Slot on the gooseneck and then tighten up the nuts again. To attach the flat box handle to the flat box, simply slot it on and tighten the wing nuts. To fix a roll of paper tape onto the auto taper, and then pull the tape up and thread it through the head. So to fill the auto taper, you slide this lever across here and put this nozzle onto the end of the gooseneck. And to stabilise it, you put your foot on there, on the pump, like so. And then to use the gun, you slide the lever back across until the adhesive comes out at the end. So to fill the 7 inch box, or the 10 inch box, or 12 inch box, we've changed the nozzle on the pump to the boxing pump nozzle. And all we do is slide the nozzle into this opening here and fill it like so. And two pumps is generally enough but you don't really want to put any more in than that otherwise you will get a lot of spillage and a lot of mess. In my experience when it comes to the 10 inch you'll need to pump it th at least three times to fill that one and with the 12 inch probably four times. So now we're going to use the corner finisher to put a second coat of cement over previously dried tape. So to do that you put the corner and finish it onto the applicator, go over to the pump, take out the box and fill the nozzle and put that inlet onto the pump. And usually about three pumps fill to that and then we're ready to use it. So now we're going to put the second application over these internal corner tapes because they've dried and they're ready for the final coat to be put on them. So to do that, we just put the applicator into the corner, push and drag. And it leaves a nice smooth coating of the cement over both corners. Whilst I'm busy finishing off that important paperwork, let's see if Mick has anything else for us. Mick? Ah yes, good. The 12 inch box. So now we're going to run the 12 inch box over the 10 inch box. On the walls. As before, you're holding the trigger while putting the 12 inch box to the bottom of the joint. And pulling it up. It's as quick as that. Well, we're almost at the end of the second episode. Just before we finish, I promised you at the beginning of this video that Mick was going to share with you his three big hitters that have saved him collectively bags of time over the years. Mick, your top three time saving money earning tips when you're ready. So when you're taping, whether you're doing hand taping or machine taping, 
there's still aspects of the job that have to be done by hand. And a way to save time when nail spotting, either on a ceiling or a wall, is if instead of spotting each individual nail or screw and having an area that needs to be sanded all the way around the perimeter of each piece of filler, or if you just do a clean sweep, you just get a nice, even adhesive that's easy to sand into the ceiling. When applying the material to the ceiling, it's best to flip the box over, let it move slightly and press the brake so that when you turn it back round and put it to the ceiling, it's already on the correct angle. Another way to save a little bit of time when taping is to use a fibre tape on the joints. Fill it with a fast drying compound, which can be anything from 20 minutes to 90 minutes. Take off any excess. And in 45 minutes, which is the one that I'm using, I can then go straight across that with a 10 inch box and I can be further ahead in the day than I would be by using the 7 inch box. Right, so this joint that I taped earlier has been done with a quick setting compound and is now totally dry to the pail and touch. So we can just run the 10 inch straight over that instead of having to use the 7 inch. Same again, snap down the bottom of the jump and pull up, spin it around and pull down. Well thanks again and congratulations for making it this far. I hope that you've enjoyed what we've shared and we've helped to demonstrate how we can get started with automatic taping tools. Don't forget to keep an eye out in your email inbox for the link for the third video. For the first time ever, we're going to be sharing our trade secrets for how you can keep your taping tools in the best possible condition, as well as making minor repairs in case of emergencies. Also, we have three more pro taping tips from Mick to make sure even the most advanced tapers can keep saving time and making money. Just before I go, please scroll down to the comments box just below and share the one thing you've enjoyed most about this video. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.